let's look at the evolution of the game. Tell us a little bit how it began as the original six and take us up to current. Well, it was interesting that hockey had had deep roots in the New England area long before the start of the National Hockey League. You had hockey being played at St. Paul's School in Concord, New Hampshire in the 1890s. Wow. The collegiate uh, hockey leagues uh, started uh, pretty soon after that, so I believe uh, Harvard's program started also in the 1890s. So the sport really uh, is, uh, I think, the one closest to our hearts here because there have been more professionals that have come from the New England area in hockey than in any other sport. And then certainly uh, the great number of uh, Olympic players, the great high school tradition here. This is also the home of the first interscholastic hockey league in the country, dating back to the 19-teens. And uh, the Boston Arena, now known as Matthews Arena, is the oldest indoor ice arena in the world. Wow, did not know that. And that's still here. That. That's where the Bruins started back in 1924. So the origins uh, of hockey in this area go back to the origins of the sport itself. It helps get us through these New England winters, I think. That's why we love it so much. Yes. D different question. Is the violence or the fights of the game essential to people being attracted to watching hockey? No, I don't think so, because in collegiate hockey, fighting is punished with a game suspension. So the, anyone that's watched top-level collegiate hockey knows that it's as good as it gets and you don't need the fighting, it's a distraction. But that being said, certain teams had as part of their identity a fighting mode to them. Uh, certainly the Bruins had that for a number of years. You know, they were a tough team, they were a team to be contended with at, at all times. And the fighting was almost a part of the script. The Flyers of the early 70s sort of took a page out of the Bruins book and tried to intimidate opponents as well as outplay them. Mm -hmm. But that being said, I think anyone that's watched enough hockey knows that when it's played well, it's a beautiful sport and the fighting tends to delay it, it tends to be a distraction. And in this day and age, uh, there are not many teams that can really intimidate you anymore. The game has changed a bit. It's a more flowing sport and uh, skating skill and overall talent really are what you pay to see. You don't pay to see a couple of goons out there slugging it out. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.